Hey, sixth graders. So we're going to do the third video for this last skill in lesson 4.2 that has been all about solving algebraic equations in factored form. So our first example was with integers. Our second example was with decimals. And now our third example is with fractions. So I'm on page 207, example A. So I have 1 6 times x plus 1 in the parentheses equals 6. So remember, the first step is to distribute the number or the term outside of the parentheses to the terms inside the parentheses. So 1 6 times z, they're both positive. Positive times positive is a positive. So you get 1 6 z plus 1 6 times 1, and they're both positive, equals po plus 1 6. Positive 1 6 equals 6. So now, before I can do anything about isolating this variable, I need to get rid of my constant, right? So the opposite of positive 1 6 is negative 1 6. But if I subtract 1 6 on this side, I need to do the same on the other side. So these have the 1 6 on this side, they cancel each other out. Positive times a negative, they're equal to 0. But on this side, I've got minus 1 6. So really, 6 is equal to 36 6, right? The 6 that's over here is equal to 36 6. And now I need to take away 1 6. So I converted 6 into 36 6 because I knew I was going to be taking away 1 6 over here. And so it made it easier. So 36 6 minus 1 6 is... 35, 6, right? So I had equal 6, and I had to take 1, 6 away from that. If I wanted to, I would have ended up having um, an like an improper fraction there by having 6 and taking 1, 6 away. But 5 and 5, 6 is the same as saying 35, 6. So that's where I'm getting 35, 6 from over there. Okay. And then equals 1, 6z. Now, to get the z on its own, to isolate it, when it has a fractional coefficient, I need to multiply that fractional coefficient by its reciprocal. Because 6 times 1 is 6, and 1 times 6 is 6. And 6 over 6z is the same as saying 1z. But if I multiply by 6 on that side, I need to multiply by 6 on this side. These cancel each other out, right? 35 times 1 is 35. 1 times 1 is 1. So our correct answer ends up being z is equal to 35. Now, um, with my calculator on my phone, it's harder to substitute with fractions. So in this case, I'm just going to do it out, OK? So what I had had was. 1 6 times z plus 1 equals 6. So this is the same as saying 1 6 times 35 plus 1 equals 6, right? So 35 plus 1, because this is inside the parentheses. Remember our good old friend PEMDAS. I need to plug that z equals 35. It's inside the parentheses. I need to do the parentheses first. So 35 plus 1 is 36. 1 6 times 36, or 1 6 of 36 is 36 over 6, which is the same as saying 6 is equal to 6. So I know that I did my problem correctly. So please, even with fraction ones, they're usually not super long. Just go ahead like I did and plug in your value. Common error would be not doing the work inside the parentheses um, when you're checking that, okay? So make sure you um, add or subtract or take care of the numbers inside the parentheses before you distribute that number that is outside of the parentheses, okay? And then the other thing I think I'm seeing common errors is how you get rid of a fractional coefficient. And remember, it's really the same as in the case where I had 1 6 z. It's like what we've been doing. If you saw 6 z, you would say, oh, I just need to divide by 6 to get it equal to 1 z equals, you know, whatever. 
When you have 160, that's the same as saying divided by 1 6 divided by 1 6. But remember, with fraction division, 1 6 divided by 1 6 is really the same as saying 1 6 times its reciprocal. And that it gives us the 6 over 6. So that is why when you have a fractional coefficient, what you always are going to do is multiply by its reciprocal. So when you have a fractional coefficient, you are always going to multiply by the reciprocal because you're trying to get the coefficient to be equal to one, okay? I hope that all makes sense and now you're gonna try some on Edpuzzle as well as like, um, doing some on a Google form and yeah, that's it. All right, I hope you're doing well. I'll talk to you later, bye.